I think you could spend your entire life on the ocean and still be amazed every day. The Hokulea is a 62-foot replica of an ancient Hawaiian voyaging canoe. It was built to recreate some of the voyages that were made to populate these islands. For me, it really is one of those experiences that connects you to the people on board. Being out on the ocean, it's definitely a humbling experience. You realize how small you are in this world. You're so exposed to the weather and you're so connected to everything going on around you. How the water goes across the front of the bow and creates a splash every time you go over a swell to the way that the paddle dips in and out of the water and almost dances along. There's a Hawaiian proverb we use on the canoe all the time. It's heva'a himoku, himoku heva'a. And it translates to the canoe is an island, the island is a canoe. Ultimately, the canoe really is just an island and we need to take care of our resources such as water and food. On a voyage, it's so precious to us because that's all we have. And at the same time, it directly relates to how we live on island earth and navigate through life. The ocean, it makes everything in the modern world available to Hawaii. The harbors are our lifeline. They connect us to everything. I mean, from the very beginning, from when the uh, ancient Polynesians first found these islands to uh, food finding its way to our shores today. Everything and anything under the sun that we don't grow here on our own comes from overseas. And the vast majority of that, 98%, comes through our harbor system. Honolulu Harbor is actually one of the busiest harbors in the country and one of the busiest in the world. It's really mind-boggling when you think about it. Our economy is, is connected to the harbors. If anything were to happen to Honolulu Harbor, I mean, this, the, the state would come to a standstill. I mean, it is our responsibility to take care of the ocean. The harbors were kind of the way station for people and, and, and goods and for everything that comes into Hawaii. And, and we want to just keep that connection strong. I mean, the ocean is doing its job. We have to make sure we do ours. I fell in love with the ocean at a pretty early age. My favorite ocean sport is traditional paddleboarding, long open ocean surfboards that are paddled only with your hand. It's this amazing combination of surfing and swimming and being out really close to the water. So you're very much connected to what's happening with the, the swells and the current. It's pretty funny because if you look at a paddleboard, they're really small. I mean, once you set it in the water and you look around, the ocean dwarfs it pretty quick. When I'm going to plot a course or do a race, I've used a lot of the information that's out there online about currents and tides and wind and weather. Shoot, I could look from my phone while I'm paddling and see what's happening. Sometimes it's really lonely feeling, and then <laughs> other times it's, it's just really beautiful and peaceful. Sometimes it's just fun. You're like catching a wave and just literally laughing out loud just by yourself. So um, that, that's kind of what it's like. <laughs> the ocean is, to me, a place of constant wonder. The ocean connects us to the rest of the world. I have to say that the, the ocean, it's essential to our way of life. The ocean is how the ancient Polynesians got here. The ocean to me is a place of adventure. It's connected us in so many ways. And the ocean to me is a place of learning who I am and what I'm capable of and what my limits are. The ocean is everything.